Let's go ahead and discuss managing campaigns, which entails adding and removing campaign members, along with if someone doesn't already exist in Salesforce, creating a new contact. I'll go ahead and call out our managing campaign members wiki. It does break down full details on adding campaign members, removing them, as well as adding new contacts that will be referenced throughout the video. And I have an example outlined here. We'll run through the test of adding and removing an individual, as well as adding someone who doesn't already exist in Salesforce and creating that new contact. So our first item of adding Daniela to this campaign, I'm going to go ahead and copy the email address for that individual. And from within Salesforce, I'll use the global search to go ahead and find this individual based off of their email address. You might need to open up their record. Great to confirm that you're looking at the right individual, but also peering at the related tab is where you'll want to hover campaign history. And so you can see a preview of their campaign history there. I can also go ahead and click this add to campaign button in the top right corner. From my list, I did have the campaign name listed out here. You could go ahead and search for it and it should populate at that point with your campaign selected, say next. We'll keep the status as sent. No other action needed here except for saving with the blue button. Now, Daniela is a campaign member of that campaign. You'll find in Salesforce, there's a lot of different ways to achieve the same task. So another way to add someone to a campaign, while very similar, I could have actually clicked on campaign history, um, it would open a new window, and I could say add to campaign there. If I go back, we could also see that all of these related items, like campaign history, if I were to scroll down on this contact, I could um, come across this preview as well and say add to campaign there. So there's so a lot of different ways to add an individual to a campaign after looking up that person. Similarly, on the flip side, we could have looked up the campaign by searching for the name and we do see in this block campaigns that's the one named there so i'll go ahead and open it and from here we can go ahead and click on the related tab and we can see everyone in this particular campaign right now but you could also add contacts via this method so, it's pretty simple to click some of your recent contacts, go ahead and hit next and keep that same member status of sent and submit. I, however, don't like that path just because we have so many contacts in the database, you could be pulling the wrong person. So I like to look at the individual's record and just make sure it's the right person I'm putting in the campaign, but really it's up to you. So Daniela has been added, but now I need to go ahead and remove Jen from this campaign. So how I would go about that is from the campaign, I am on the related tab, the second option. And we can see folks listed here, but you'll want to go ahead and say view all. And from this window, you'll be able to check the box next to their name, in this case, Jen, and I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And one final confirmation. And it's important to note that in this view of looking at your campaign, the individual's email address, their primary email is what's going to populate here. And that may or may not be the email address that you're targeting with your communication. So remember, we use reports and data extensions in particular to target particular fields. So um, this may or may not be the email address you're sending to. Often you'll see blanks here and people will get concerned, but you're actually sending to the UCB email field and there are email addresses populated there. In our third example, we'll go ahead and try to add this contact to this campaign. So I'll go ahead and search for this email address. 
within Salesforce. And notice we can't find that contact. So this might be a case where you need to add a new contact to Salesforce. And once it's there, you can go ahead and add them to the campaign as we previously did. When a contact doesn't exist already in Salesforce, so you can't add them to your campaign, you will need to create a new contact. So within our wiki, you can provide first, last name, and email, and click a little create new contact button. And then you'll be able to find that contact in Salesforce and add them to your campaign. Some things to keep in mind when creating new contacts. So how the technology works is if you provide an email address that's new to Salesforce, a new contact will be created. That email address does already exist in Salesforce, it's not gonna create a new contact to prevent creating duplicates. And some tips, when you do have a real first name and last name, please provide it, but otherwise leave it with the default, which just says friend of CU. And also, if you find yourself trying to create new contacts where their email address has a university domain, like at Colorado, at CU Anschutz, at UC Denver, at UCCS, or at CU.edu, something's amiss. Those contacts should already exist in our database of Salesforce, so that's a good time to reach out to your e-com specialist. But seeing as I can't find this email address in Salesforce, I'm going to navigate to our wiki for managing campaign members and choose to add new contacts. So I have that email address populated there. I want to make sure if I do have a first and last name here, which is Mel Jones in this case, and I definitely want to provide it. And then I can just go ahead and say, create new contact. So pretty instantaneously, what that should do is create a contact in Salesforce. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And now when I search, I find that contact and we'll see that it has the first and last name that I provided along with the email address. It could take up to a minute to have this populate. So don't reach out to your e-com specialist right at this point. Um, give it a minute or two and hit refresh a couple times if you're not seeing that new contact. But now that they exist as a contact in Salesforce, we can manage them as a campaign member just as we looked at previously. So yet another way that you could add an individual to a campaign when it does find one person and it's super confident that's the individual. You can even hover campaign history here on the related list quick links and say add to campaign. So since I've already been looking at this campaign, it's in my recent, which is really nice. I can just find it in my drop down, hit next, keep my status as sent and hit save. Another tip, I can go ahead and look at that campaign. I like using the carrot next to the campaign dropdown and it's in my recent records. And if I look at the related, I can see that Mel Jones Yahoo address has been added. I hope you find the video useful for understanding this process. Also keep in mind as you continue that we have screenshots documenting every single process I reviewed on adding campaign members, the many different ways of going about that, and of course, as well as removing campaign members. I hope our users who have reports or data extensions that leverage campaigns really take on this task of managing their audiences and hopefully a win-win that should have a faster turnaround time for you and take a task off of your e-com specialist.